Good morning guys, so today I wanted to share with you a product, a good product that can be an alternative to tracinoine cream. I know a lot of you, when I read your comments, some of you have difficulty of using tretinoine or some of you do not want to use tretinoine, they want to use something else that can give them almost the same result as, as vitamin A or tretinoine cream. Or other people really look for another product they can use in addition of their tretinoin cream so today i wanted to share with you this product called azelaic acid so through my research i noticed that azelaic acid is one of those products that is considered to be the cousin of vitamin a or the cousin of tretinoin cream so personally in my routine i have been using azelaic acid like every day especially in the morning and I wanted to share all my azelaic acid that I have been using because I went Godzilla with azelaic acid and I know it's one of the products that I want to, uh, that, that I really want to use like daily in my daily routine because it has a lot of benefits. But the thing is azelaic acid is also one of those products that you need to choose the the good one the the great one okay because they are formulate different each as like i see you're going to find they are going to look they are going to feel they are going to act on your skin differently so i wanted to share with you my seven as like i see that i have i'm going to share with you the one that i like and the one that, that i hate the most okay so before we get into the video guys i want to share with you the benefit of using as like i see as like i see has a benefit to exfoliate the skin it protect is antioxidant okay as like i see is also fight against hyperpigmentation melasma as like i see is also a great 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 product that can turn over the skin okay turn over the cell that's why it's really compared to tretinoin cream or again vitamin a azelaic acid is also an antibacterial so it's great for people that suffer from acne or fungal acne okay so personally when i think about azelaic acid it's really an overall product for everybody for any type of skin every person i think i think everyone especially dark skin should use azelaic acid in their skincare routine also azelaic acid is a great anti-inflammatory so when your skin is maybe red okay your skin is always inflamed azelaic acid is one of those uh, products that is going to help for any type of inflammation, redness, and stuff like that. So it's a great product, okay? But it also can be irritated if you choose the wrong one, if you choose the wrong percentage. Now, let's talk about percentage. There are different types of percentage out there, 10%, 5%, 15%, and 20%. But unfortunately, I think only two, uh, only the 15% and the 20% are the one with most research that have been proven to work perfectly now if you are very sensitive to 15 percent i really recommend that you you try to use a 10 percent more if you are a beginner start with 10 percent use it daily after two months three months if you feel like you have any irritation then you can bump and go to 15 percent or 20 percent now the difference between 15 percent and 20 percent in the research the difference is not that big okay there is more result a more efficacy with 15 percent 15 percent gel as like acid give more result than 20 percent as like acid cream so for me 15 percent gel is good if you want to use 20 percent it's also fine those two are really the one that have been proven to work okay this is just the research that i have been uh, doing so personally i use 
15% and 20%. Okay, the, the different as like I said, I'm going I'm to share with you today, there are 15% or 20%. But before I started to use the 15% and the 20%, I'm going to tell you the truth. I started with 10%. I use a 10% as like I said that I use, I think for two months or three months, and then I bump up into 20% as like I said and sometimes 15 percent as like acid okay now let me share with you all my as like acid and i'm going to start by the less like to the like 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 the one that i love 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 and i think i'm, I think I'm going to buy them again and over again okay if they don't discontinue those as like acid without further ado the first one that i, I, I i'm really disappointed okay the name is Ahmed as like I said 20% cream okay this as like I said I'm gonna say that it's very difficult to apply on the skin difficult it peels a lot and I feel like it also can dry out my face very fast I don't really like the texture of it I don't like the feel on my skin I don't like it I mean the bottle is is, is beautiful okay it really looks like a like a lotion but it look like a it, it, no it feels like a paste you know the paste that you brush your teeth that's how this product feel on the skin okay it feels like um i have applied my paste on my face that's how this as like i see face for me i'm very disappointed I barely use it. Every time I use it, I'm disappointed. It peels. It made me feel uncomfortable. So the second one is as clear 20%. Okay. This one, I don't have, I mean, it feels great on the skin. Okay. It's smooth. It's a little bit tacky. Okay. It's a little bit tacky. It dries, uh, it dries well, but I feel like if you don't know if you don't use the right amount on your face it's going to peel a lot and, and if you also use a lot of serum or product underneath it's also going to peel a lot so you need to find like a good balance on how to use this product you need to find the, the right balance on the amount of using it you need to find the right balance on how on the number of serum or additional product you're going to put on your face so that's why it's very difficult to use it it is a great as like acid this one is 20 percent if you can use it go ahead and use it the next one is the as like acid from dermatica this is the 20 percent dermatica as like acid this one is really really moisturizing okay this one i'm a little bit skeptical about the effectiveness okay because this one you can buy it here in the united states it's like a lotion uh I'm, I'm i'm really skeptical if it really works on the skin okay the formulation is great it has great ingredient inside guys i love the ingredient inside i feel like this as a like i see works especially for people with dry skin if you have dry skin i think this is a great 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 uh, option for you all this skin i'm not sure okay but my only issue with this one is that i don't know if the 20 percent as like i see they added into that lotion make the overall product efficace okay is it really working on the skin is it really giving something on the skin i'm not sure and this is my issue with this one the fourth one i like it okay this is also as like i see gel 15 percent the brand is zen dose okay this one i like it it's a gel but this gel feel like lotion for me okay it feel like lotion and when i apply this one on my face it feel a little bit heavy it's like i'm applying a gel but a little bit heavy it create a little bit of a film on my skin i mean i like this one but it's not my favorite one okay I have no complaint about it. I feel like it goes well with, with any type of other serum or product, uh, uh, makeup, sunscreen. It was great. I don't have any issue with it. My, my only con is that it's a gel. I expect it to be like some type of lighter. I expect it to work like 
it's faultless on my skin but i feel like it's heavy okay every time i apply this one on my skin i feel like it's heavy it creates like a thick film on my skin that's why i'm not really i mean it's not my favorite one okay it's not my favorite one but hey it's also something that i can recommend maybe i don't like the feel of it but you can love the feel of it this one is all about the feeling okay this one is all about the feeling how it makes my face look uh, is my only concern okay this is just a personal preference Okay. So now let's get into the one that I like and love and I'm going to buy and rebuy again. Before we get into those, this one, the Zendos was a prescribed one. It cost me the most money. It was $80. I don't think I'm going to buy it again. The Dermatica was the, I think it's, I think it's like a $20 or $29. Okay. As Claire also, it's not cheap. It's less than $15, I think. And Ahmed's one, the one that I, I don't like, that I hate, was like $30. It was one of the most, one of the expensive one, like more than $30, like $40, I'm not sure, or 40 euros, because I bought this from Europe, okay, France. So yeah, I'm, I don't like it, no. So the first one that I'm gonna share with you is ACM, okay, ACM ASEAN this one also i got this from europe okay i have uh one of my sisters she's in spain so she's the one that got this for me she bought it there and shipped that to me here in the us in the us it's very difficult to find as a like acid i feel like if you are in europe it's much more easier you can find it in the uh, in counters everywhere but here in the us, US as a like acid is like it's gold okay it's gold it's only prescribed and it's really expensive and i don't understand why but hey if you are in europe or australia those country or those continent they have as like acid and it's much more cheaper so this one as acm i love this one because it contains 15 percent as like acid and also because it contains niacinamide okay if you watch my videos, you know I love niacinamide. It's one of my key ingredients in my product or one of the key ingredients that I use every time. If you want to know why, I'm going to put the link of the description where I talk about niacinamide and why you need to use niacinamide. I'm going to put the link on that video. Go and watch that video after watching this video. Okay, so this one, I love it because it contains, again, niacinamide and azelaic acid at the same time and it's like a cream okay it's like a cream it's easy to apply it feels good on the skin uh it works with all the serum my product my sunscreen i have no issue with it and this product specifically if it's one of the product that when i travel it's I take this one okay instead of taking azelaic acid and niacinamide for instance i'm just gonna grab this one okay i can use only this one and my sunscreen in the morning and i'm good to go okay i'm good only two products so it's a great product and i think i'm gonna buy this one over and over again my second best bet that i love 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 is azelaic acid zeliderm this one is from spain uh, again my cousin bought this from me this one is moisturizing it's 20 percent as like as a cream this one feels so good on the skin i don't know how i can explain it it feels really good it's like a lotion but better than lotion it goes smooth it's it's i mean i love it okay i love the consistency i love the way it feels on my skin and i remember because it's not the first time that i have been using zeliderm i remember when i used to have my skin barrier that was destroyed by tretinoin and acid i was using this one guys and my f and i was okay no irritation my face was happy so this is a great good azelaic acid guys i love to use this it's a cream and i feel like if you have oily skin you can use this one you can use this one so yeah so i love everything about this azelaic acid guys i love it and my first one I love, love, love is Finesha. Finesha, Finesha, I don't know how to pronounce that in English, guys. This is as like I see 15% gel. And yes, this one is 
is my favorite i bought this one from australia there's a website where i ordered this it was less than 20 dollars no i think it was 30 dollars yeah because financial here in the us usa cost like 300 dollars no 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 it's only 30 dollars order it from australia guys or if you can have it in europe whatever financial this one feels so good on the skin it goes smoothly it works with all the product all the serum all the sunscreen i have no issue when i compare this 15 percent as like gel with this 15 percent as like gel zendox too different okay they feel different on the skin this one is thick this one is light it's smooth okay it feels like i mean it goes smoothly it's effortless okay you don't feel that you have something on your skin and that's why i love i love i love i love this one and if you notice very carefully guys you can see this one have been used a lot okay i have been using this one a lot compared to all of my as like i see it it's almost finished i need to get another one so it's my favorite one and that's the reason so the three that i love and i'm going to buy and rebuy them again it's Phoenicia, zeliderm and acm those three guys i'm going to buy them again no i'm not going to choose one over over the, the other i think those three are my best bet if i need to choose two if i need to choose two guys to tell you the truth if you need to choose two it's going to be Phoenicia and zeliderm those are my two best one those two okay those two zeli them gonna be in my arsenal forever because i mean it's great okay it's great it's 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 a lotion but it works like a gel it's awesome okay it's awesome so it's just a matter of preference what you feel on your skin what you like on your skin and and yeah so the way you can get all of them is from like i said i ordered some of them in australia I ordered some of them in Europe and the one that I bought here from the US is Dematica. I bought Dematica from the US and Zandok. Okay, Zandox. I bought those two from the US. The ones that I bought from Europe are this one that I don't like is ACM and Zeriderm. Okay, those are the three that I bought from Europe. And the two that I ordered from Australia finisher and as clay okay i'm gonna put the link of the ones that i bought from australia in the decision just below i'm gonna put the link of i'm gonna put the link of all the as like i see that i have in the decision below and the ones that i order that my cousin helped me order uh unfortunately just take the name and go look find a way that you can have it okay so how do i use azelaic acid i use azelaic acid every morning okay every morning i can apply my serum for instance on my face then i'm gonna apply azelaic acid then i'm gonna apply my sunscreen so it depends on my routine but every morning i use azelaic acid because i, I want the antioxidant property i want uh, the antibacterial property because i have acne prone skin yes and i also use it i also use that to protect my skin okay for hyperpigmentation because i have hyperpigmentation i have a dark skin so even if you don't have acne even if you don't have any problem on your skin but you want to prevent and protect as like i is the best bet that's why i said it doesn't matter your type of skin dry skin oily skin sensitive skin no problem skin problem any type you can use as like i see you need to have as like i see because of the the different properties as like i said have so this is all that i have for you today guys um yeah let me in this in the comment section if you like as like i said and what type of as like i said you guys are using thank you guys bye let me wear my glasses again okay 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 if you are not subscribed yet do subscribe okay like this video okay i'll see you guys bye